Essential Tennis is the, the, the best online tennis instruction place to go to because they've got the, the highest level of instruction, the highest quality content, and best of all, it seems to attract the most passionate, best people you will ever meet in the game of tennis. We're not your average tennis coaches. We've moved from all around the nation to build a company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin that encompasses our passion. We are Essential Tennis. Ian, Herbie, Megan, and Kevin. Welcome to our ET family. Come join us on our daily tennis adventures. This used to really freak me out. It's pretty awesome now. <laughs> Welcome. Good to have everybody here. Uh, the way I like to open all of these is always with, with gratitude. Uh, we're, we're super appreciative of the support that all of you guys have given us over the years. There's a lot of you here that have been supporting me since the beginning, 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, there's no chance I would have thought that I'd have other pros working with me. There's no chance I would have thought we'd have production people and, and whatnot. Um, and so it's not just for me, you know, that I'm grateful. It's for everybody else that, that works at Essential Tennis. Without a team effort, there's no way that we'd be able to help you guys to the extent that we do. So, um, and at this point, just the full-time staff, there's 10 children that are supported by uh, all of you. So, uh, so thank you. Uh, just to give you a little uh, roadmap of what's going on today, the way we've broken today up is this morning we're going to do an hour and a half on, on baseline focus elements, then we're going to do an hour and a half on net play focused elements, we're going to break for lunch, and in the afternoon we're going to do singles strategy, and we're going to do double strategy, and we're going to do serve and return. <laughs> Alright, uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, Getting moving, Kevin is going to lead everybody in a dynamic warm up and then we'll start doing a little bit of short court warm, warm up. Uh, so, no rackets right now, Kevin? No rackets, no rackets. Uh, how long? It's a little warm. Okay. <laughs> Spread out on the double sideline here. So, everybody's going to be in line here. We have plenty of room on this side, plenty of room on this side. One other thing I wanted to mention today, depending on where you're from and how much stuff we do, do take the time to drink water. I know for some of us it doesn't feel as hot, for some of us it may feel kind of hot. Just make sure you stay hydrated, it's really important. Wow, all four on this clip. Yeah. Doing a split step. Uh, what's the word? Not inventory, but uh, audit, split step audit right now. Yeah, you only got one. One? I think. No, on this whole side? One, no, I haven't gone down Oh, okay, one just on this part. I'm it's just like anything else in life. The, the things that are most important are the most basic, and those are the things that most people don't do. And so in tennis, that thing is the split step. All right, a couple of you know what's about to happen. Every time I do a clinic, every time, the first thing we start with is an audit of Who's split stepping and not and who's not split stepping? Oh wow. <laughs> the website. <laughs> the website is called Essential Tennis, and that's because we focus very, very narrowly on the most fundamental, critical elements to success. And there's nothing more fundamental than the split step. It either sets you up to be proactive and athletic and move smoothly, or on the flip side, be reactive and unathletic and slow. These are relative terms, but when you look at high level players across the board, they all split step. When you look at low level players, beginners, across the board, they do not split step. And then there's a scale in between. The highest percentage I've ever seen at the beginning of a clinic is 50%. And the pe all of you, the people who are here right now, are like the most passionate, you know, driven, focused players on the face of the earth. And collectively, you're just below 50%. Uh, 11 of you are split stepping out of 23, which is really good. I've never seen higher than 50%. So you should be happy about that. 99% of your peers are not doing it. 
but there's half of you that have a tremendous upside by starting to make it a habit. And that's really the key is training it as a habit. Okay, go back to the court you were just on. Pros will be wandering around helping you out. Jeff. That's our ET high five. Did you know that? It's the highest of fives. Exactly. Morning session's almost done. Almost halfway through. It feels like we just started four minutes ago. We're gonna take a break until two. I'm, I, and I think the, all the pros are gonna be having lunch right across the street here at this coffee shop. There's all kinds of places to eat you know, right around here. You definitely don't have to go over there. Uh, so feel free to relax and uh, grab lunch wherever you'd like. I like the fact that, uh, that I can actually learn things from it that, I, that are constantly amazing. I mean, things that I thought I understood that I didn't understand, and they break it down and make it easy. And, and you can, uh, I'm accused of, of uh, by my uh, friends of overthinking things, but I think that, that in the long run, maybe I do overthink them at the beginning, but as I integrate them into my game, I've improved. I love it. I mean, every morning I go and I hit balls, and I normally will pick a certain thing to work on and watch one of the videos, or and then go and try to put that into play. So, just finished lunch. Got another uh, three hours now. Uh, this afternoon we're doing serves, returns, and strategy, singles, double strategy. Okay, so before you start, it might be good to shadow a few and to work on that outside foot or stepping in, depending upon what you want to work on if you're, if you're not really used to doing that. Okay, and we can help you shadow. I looked a lot for like online instruction and they were by far the best. So then when I saw the camp, as soon as I signed up, I heard about the uh, camp here. I'm like, yes, absolutely. I got plenty of time off from work. I was like, I'll take a weekend, come to Milwaukee, I've never been. It's beautiful out here. The camp has been fantastic. It's That's like it. one thing to watch the videos, like, yeah, yeah, I know what to do. But then to have them with you and call you out when you're not doing it, that's what I need. I'm hoping to go back and show uh, some new tricks to the guys at my club. <laughs> Jeremy, what was your aha moment? Just remembering this stuff like you thought of and it works. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So I, I like that. that. I like when people tell me just do what I tell you to do and it works. I felt like moving into the court actually uh -huh. kept my ball from floating. Uh-huh. Versus when I'm either standing still, I have a tendency to go up. So it's kinda hard to do that when you're trying to move in. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Your body weight moving the same direction as the ball makes it huge. We've, we've only got a couple minutes left anyway, so we're basically gonna wrap at this point. Uh, I just wanna thank all of you uh, for coming. You, get, you guys are gonna get a recording of everything that we did today. And if you need anything at all moving forward, obviously uh, let us know, we're here to help. But we hope Academy continues being a huge uh, help to you guys. And uh, we're just really grateful for your time and your attention today. So uh, thank you all very much. We really appreciate it. Good job. Yeah.